Please welcome from Rock Island, Illinois, the blues music of Oliver and Stanley Rosenblum. The Jews Brothers. My name's Harry Casey, uh, saxophone player, and I um, helped on the production, helped uh, uh, Steve Smith, and we did the production for El Dorado, of the music, that is, you know, that for El Dorado. <laughs> I knew Richard Driscoll well, many years ago. We did some stuff together then. And he called me up and uh, asked me if we'd like to do the music. Uh, so, well, not all of it, but some of the music for El Dorado, which I had great pleasure in doing. It was uh, a real joy, because we were playing all the old 60s soul. Uh, that's all the stuff that he requested, requested from us. So yeah, that was, uh, that was really brilliant, you know. Need somebody. It started out with, uh, he wanted 10 songs, and then every so often we'd get through the 10, and then he'd have another sort of half dozen, and we ended up doing 22 all in all, so. We had to get different singers because uh, all the different actors miming to the, uh, the, the, vo the voices had to be different. You couldn't use the same male singer or the same female singer, so yeah. Uh, we got all the different things, lots of them from this area, from Bournemouth Pool area, lots of the musicians were, some from London, and yeah, we had a great, great time doing it. So glad we made it. So glad we made it. Give me some love Give me some love Give me some love every day. did, uh, we tended to listen to the original tracks, although I think El Dorado, it, it, um, it features like a, a Blues Brothers type thing, uh, but uh, we did listen to the Blues Brothers as well, but of course those tracks, they were copying tracks from way back in the 60s, you know, the old soul stacks in the Atlantic, and uh, so we listened to a lot of those as well, you know, the original uh, versions of them. A little loving. just get the singer that we thought suited uh, that particular song, you know? Like 6, 3, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9, it was a Wilson Pickett song originally. And uh, and so we got a great singer, local singer called Santana, he came in and did a version for us. And then Ray Foster did uh, a version of uh, Groove Me, and Sheila, my wife, she did a version of Respect. And they did that, they put their own stamp on it. We didn't say, you must sing like this. So they put their own stamp on it. But the arrangements themselves were pretty true to the originals. We tried to keep it, uh, you know, as it was. The feel, the tempos, and also the, uh, the arrangements for the horns and the, the rhythm section, you know. So, yeah, we kept it as near to the, the true versions as we could. You know? <laughs> Show. We played in a club called uh, Mr. Kipps, local sort of uh, pool uh, club, and uh, we've done it a few times over the years. Each year we try to reform the slobs, and we uh, we do this uh, thing for charity, for pool hospital or MS or whatever the charity is at the time. And uh, this particular one this year, having done the music for the film, and uh, we told Richard that we were going to do this concert and we could get a lot of the singers who were involved. 
uh, and musicians who were involved in it, as well as the slobs, to come along and guest on it. I just can't get you out of my mind. you become a sweet taste in my mouth now. And I want you to be my spouse. So Robert Hart came on, uh, ex, well, not ex, and he's a bad company singer and uh, great singer. Another local boy, you see. There's lots of good stuff down here. And uh, yeah, he came on and he did uh, Born to Be Wild, and then he did some of his uh, other stuff, you know. He did about three or four songs. Oh, there was a lot. Ray Foster, uh, Sam Tanner. Oh, damn, there's loads of them. Emily Hawkins, you know, they all came on and did the, the thing, you know. And he's actually cast the thousands on stage at one time, you know. But everybody came on and everybody did their bit and they did a great job, you know. And we raised some money for charity, which is uh, what it was all about, you know. Not necessarily singing it like Aretha, no, my, my absolute heroine, my number one. Um, it was, it had to be uh, sung differently, obviously, you know, and it was for um, Bridget, Bridget Nielsen, who's uh, miming to it, you know, and uh, so it's like, uh, I'm hoping that she's, uh, she was like, uh, pleased with it. <laughs> Steve Smith helped a lot. Uh, I knew quite a few musicians and singers, but some musicians weren't available, so uh, Steve, he runs the studio, so obviously he knows a lot more musicians than I would. Well, this is his studio where I'm speaking from. It's uh, Room with a View, which is St. Leonard's in Hampshire, you know? Great studio, yeah. When you get on home. My name is Rick Worthy and I sing and play the guitar. And in fact, you sang one of the leading roles. I sang I'm a man of constant sorrow, sorrow I think did. I did. <laughs> This is Tim Rennick, who produced the music that we made for Did he? El Dorado. Did he? I did. Produced the songs that we recorded for El Dorado in his garage studio. And this is Willie Wilson from the Bucket Boys as well, who plays the drums and sings. The thing is that particularly Man of Constant Sorrow, there's so many different versions of it. 
by different artists. Uh, different lengths, there's some really, you know, some really sort of 13 verses. We had lots of fun. We did, yeah. yeah, yeah. We did, because it's not the sort of songs we would normally do. But in fact, we ended up we doing... We liked them. We liked them. We did like them, and we ended up doing uh, I'm a Man of Constant Sorrow on a few of our shows. Once. Did we just do it once? Twice. Twice, maybe, twice. yeah. We, do, we don't do it at the moment. Um, we did it in concert. We did it in concert. That's right. So. But it's, it's acoustic um, stuff, didn't we? The yeah. cave. Yeah. Try and cave. It's a good song, and people are familiar with the, you know, the other film that that was in. But the world, there is one promise that is given. I'll meet you it's a very innocent song, you know. So it's innocence before the fall into desperate devilment, blues, bloodletting, disaster. Mm. Oh good, it's about time. See, working with all the other people that are on, on this, you know, the singers, some fantastic singers, I mean, really brilliant singers on, on these tracks, really are. It was a privilege to work with them. Libya, Libya, Hopefully, we've done a, a, a job that people will uh, like to listen to, and it's not going to sound like the Blues Brothers. It's going to sound like the individuals that did it here. You know, the songs may be similar, you know, but uh, you, well, you know, you got to see the film and you watch it, and uh, you'll see what we've done. I think it's great. I think we've done a great job, Steve Smith and I, and all the other people involved. I'm a soul. Soul, that's it, it says it all, doesn't it? I'm a soul man. 